That's the pain that's recovery. People can learn to walk again. But I haven't seen it with stroke, and I haven't seen it with brain injury. And there's absolutely no reason the brain is more plastic than spinal cord. I think this is, you know, I think everyone would agree on that. But, you know, if you don't, what we do, and, you know, the inpatient stays are getting shorter. Um, therapists do get their hands tied behind their back to a certain extent. But the first thing that we do is we stick somebody in a wheelchair, and we give them a reacher, and we give them tools to adapt. And it's not necessarily bad, but if that's my goal and that's how I'm discharging, I guarantee you I'm not looking at recovery. I'm not trying to promote a plastic change. You know, there needs to be more monitoring and less uh, just patting people up to make sure they don't get hurt. Um, again, bombard the central nervous system with sensory afferent information. A lot of the research will show you, especially with body weight support treadmill, Increased sensation, increased sensory feedback is going to help. It may, again, it may reactivate a system. It just may give somebody the ability to move a muscle. Help of the entire body. I really get irritated just watching somebody do range of motion on the leg. You could do that same activity with that person in standing, working on their arms, their trunk, and their legs. Um, again, treat the person as a whole. There's like, there's several pieces of equipment that I'll use. I don't want to step like just to stick somebody on a piece of equipment when they come in to the clinic. But there's no reason that I can't work on, if it's a shoulder problem or a spastic arm, that I can't do that in standing and work on their trunk strength, their leg strength, their standing tolerance. It doesn't have to be done while they're in sitting. But again, you know, stimulate, and I do say irritate. You know, like I said, as a therapist, if I walk in the room and you're always happy to see me, odds are I'm not doing my job. <laughs> That's the truth. You know, you should there should be at least a flinch or something. Um, so again, um, you know, I have a lot of therapists say, "How do you make time to read the research?" And I, my comment is, "How do you not? It's your patient." And a big one that I find with all neurological pathologists, if you work people out the correct intensity. You're having secretion of brain derived neurotrophic growth factor. And this is a good thing to be bathing an injury. Um, and again, the parameters, which again, I'm already jumping ahead, I'll get into. But What's the value of closed chain? You get a lot more, I should, in general, you get a lot more sensory feedback. Just like I said, you know, walking, and I'm jumping ahead, but the body weight support treadmill was the big thing for a while. And you can't, you can get paralyzed, spinal ectomized, uh, spinal ectomized. Uh, spinalized uh, animals to walk, but the treadmill's moving, and there's sensory feedback. You turn the treadmill off, and guess what happens? They stop walking. You step off the treadmill, the ground's not moving. You know, there's nothing wrong with the body with support treadmill, but you have to reinforce that overground if you want to see a carryover. And immediately, what the research is showing.